Hello and welcome to today's segment of our daily dose. Today is I sent out a new I sent out an invitation, but I call it a tivitation to say teas, please. Today is Tuesday, so we are going to introduce a tea of the week here at Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries, a ministry that's focused on God, gut health, and you. My name is Jenny Taylor Robinson, health coach, founder, and steward of the ministry. So we're excited. We're excited every Tuesday. Uh, but this Tuesday, I started to, I'm going to introduce some teas that I actually received from my adopted son. He, he's uh, from Kenya and, well, he raised in Kenya and he was born in Tanzania. And so he was visiting Tanzania and I asked him to bring me some tea back. So he brought me five different teas and I'm excited to try them with you. And uh, maybe you can, I don't know how you can find them, maybe go on Amazon has everything or eBay. Good morning, Miss Normie, say teas please. And, uh, and then we can, you know, go from there. So, um, so yeah, so let us say a word of prayer and we'll give people time to uh, enter in. Gracious Father, we come to you thanking you, oh God, for your many bountiful blessings, how you continue to watch over us and provide for us and protect us and guide us. You counsel us, oh God, and we're just grateful for you being in our lives. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our friends. We thank you, oh God, for roofs over our heads, clothes on our back. We thank you for transportation, oh God, whether we're walking or whether we have our own vehicle or we have the uh, convenience of having someone else take us. We just thank you, oh God, for any mode of transportation that you've blessed us with. Thank you, oh God, for the people that you have chosen to evangelize and to minister to your people in so many different ways. We have so many different gifts, oh God, and we are to use them for your glory, oh God, to give you glory and to edify your people. So as we enter in today and we say, tease, please, we thank you, oh God, for the hibiscus plant that gives us, you know, just even more benefits just like the other plants that you have provided for us. So open up our minds and our hearts, oh God, to receive what you have for us today and to really think about um, the awesomeness of this plant and every plant that you created for our good. We give you all the praise and glory and honor, and we thank you as always in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, it looks like it's you and me, Miss Normie. So how's it going this morning? How are you? Today, my uh, laptop has gone off quickly. How are you today? How's your day going? I hope everybody's day is going well. Uh, we are going to talk about, uh, I told you on, uh, I don't know what day it was, either Sunday or yesterday that we were going to talk about hibiscus tea. Uh, a little cold. Oh, okay. It, it's kind of it cooled down here too, so uh, I was, you know, uh, yesterday was really windy, and then I didn't get out in it, but it was windy and cold, and it rained a little bit. So today is just, you know, the coolness of the uh, the atmosphere, but it's still good, still good. Thank God for it. So, uh, Miss Normie, have you have you ever uh, tried hibiscus tea? And if so, did you have it in a tea bag or did you have the actual flower? So the hibiscus is a flower and um, it is native to Egypt, but it's also popular in um, Jamaica, Brazil, and India or some more places. It grows, you know, really well in these hot tropical, subtropical places. And so even within Brazil and um, in Brazil and Jamaica, they have this Jamaican Brazilian Sorrel. It's spelled S O R R E L L. Uh, Ms. Norman says, I have, I have tried it both ways and loved it. Very good. So they have this, it's a popular drink in Jamaica. And like I said, in um, good morning, Miss Danielle. Thank you for coming. Thank you for accepting my tea invitation to say teas, please. Hello, Miss Nina. Welcome to Say Teas, please. 
So we're talking about uh, we're talking about hibiscus tea today. So if either one of you ladies ever tried hibiscus tea, so I was saying that hibiscus tea is native to Egypt, but it's also popular in Jamaica and and Brazil. They have this drink called sor sorrel. S-O-R-R-E-L-L -L. and it's a very it's like a celebratory drink that they have it's very popular there uh, so a hibiscus tea is very good and it is very powerful a lot of good benefits so we are going to jump right in and tell you all the benefits and if you have not tried it I hope that you go out and you find it and then because I've seen it in grocery stores uh, but I've just never, I don't think I've ever purchased it before. So I was excited that uh, my son uh, sent me some from Africa. No, but I bought some mm, to add to my tea supply. Okay, very good, very good. Miss Nina's in her tea arsenal. And Danielle says, uh, I've never had hibiscus tea but looking forward to the experience. Okay, very good. Uh, both my sister makes a sorrel tea. I even have some here, but haven't made it yet. Oh, okay, so you're holding out on everybody, Miss Normie. Uh, see, when I told you we, this, we were gonna talk about hibiscus today, you should have like had your little tea there and, uh, and then got, you know, and then, you know, talked along with us and told us, you know, how you like it and if you reaped any of the benefits. And so just, um, hi, Brian, welcome, glad you can join us. Uh, just tell us about, you know, like how it is. So uh, when I say a tea ahead of time, you know, it'd be great if, you know, if you had had it in your home then you could just you know have tea with me and then you can you know tell me some of the benefits that you've that you've experienced or even just you know the taste i had tea time with my little grandchildren and so i was teaching them how to, to taste it and to tell me what do you taste and how does it taste and you know and all this kind of thing so it was kind of it was really fun so um uh, the drink didn't put it together as a tea. Okay, very good, very good. So let's get into the benefits of it, of hibiscus tea. Okay, so it has all of the antis. It's antioxidant, it has antioxidants, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's antibacterial. So with all of those things, um, it helps. What they said hibiscus tea does is it helps to increase the number of antioxidants. So that's awesome, the antioxidant enzyme. So it's very beneficial in fighting those free radicals that we talked about, the relationship thing that we talked about, uh, helping to uh, connect in healing, helping to, um, to connect new electrons to the cells that are running around uh, by themselves freely. Um, Anti-inflammatory, you know, infl inflammation is a big thing on a lot of conditions and diseases that we have. Antibacterial, so that means, you know, fungus, things like UTIs, you know, is very good for. It helps to decrease your bad cholesterol, your LDL cholesterol, and it helps increase your good cholesterol, your HDL cholesterol. Uh, it helps with your, you know, your, your, our liver is a one of our detoxifying organs and it actually helps the liver detoxify. Uh, it helps keep our, um, it's good for your arteries as far as it helps with blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, hibiscus tea is good for high blood pressure. It uh, helps with weight loss. So if you are someone who is, you know, trying to lose weight, it has these flavonoids and it reduces the absorption of fat. Uh, so it makes it a great, maybe like after dinner drink after you've eaten. I've also heard that, you know, if you are the type of person who after you have a meal, it's like, ooh, I want something sweet. Well, if you drink this tea, which is tart, then it would change your um, your palate and then you will no longer desire something sweet. So somebody should try that, you know, if you're especially you're that type of person where, you know, I've heard people say before, after I eat, I just need something sweet. And so that's, see if, you know, you drink this tea that it will change your taste and then you will no longer have that craving. 
so it's uh it's good for hot flashes so if you're in your in the hot stage in the hot flash stage then you know try drinking some tea you can drink it hot or cold and um, it should have all these wonderful benefits so they there's uh, studies have been shown that hibiscus extract um, affects the hindrance and growth of cancerous cells so it's good for that the leaf extract was found to prohibit the growth of prostate cancerous cells and it's also good for constipation okay so hibiscus tea you know it, it's just a this little floral um, I have it here Let me change this so you can see I don't know if you can see the redness of it um, but this is the tea and this is the box that it came in so it is uh, from Tanzania Africa and um, it's from Kilimanjaro infusion so it's an uh, in, infused tea I'm trying to get the light out of it there you go and um, it's uh, tart like cranberry juice. They say it's kind of like on that cane kind of flavor. Uh, so you can, if you're not the type of person who drinks like tea straight yet, then you can, you know, add some honey to it. A lot of times in the, with the other drinks and stuff, they add honey or, or sometimes, you know, the dreaded sugar. But uh, just add some honey to it. And, you know, if you want to do like a teaspoon and then, you know, work your up, wake work your way up to like a half teaspoon and then to where you can just drink it or if you're the type of person who likes tart things then you know you will you're gonna love the tea there are some like warnings with women who are pregnant or breastfeeding uh, not to consume the tea or maybe just ask your doctor about consuming um, hibiscus tea and it's not recommended for children so and there are there were some more like things that's you know uh, but for the most part it's a great tea but just you know don't overdo it and it depends on the person i'm always saying it's you know everybody is different some people can tolerate a little bit more than others and you know and i'm thinking overdoing it is just like four or five cups a day and you're like who does that so um but you know having your one to three cups a day and, you know you'll reap these great benefits so you know if you're gonna go out and buy some and just let me know and any of the teas that we introduce and you t we tell you the benefits go out and try them and then you know give it you know like a month six weeks and just really take note of you know if you if there's any changes you know whatever you know you're expecting from this tea with um, all of the teas you know most of them are anti-inflammatory and they have antioxidants so you're going to get those the benefits of those along with um, all of the extra things that they have so that is my tea journey for today on say teas please and uh, let me know if you have any questions, any comments, uh, or anything like that. If you uh, tuned in later, uh, we were just talking about how um, Norma inter informed us that she um, has the uh, sorrel that they make in Brazil and, and Jamaica out of the tea. So you can do like you can get tea bags in the store or like like I have, or you can actually dry, uh, buy, purchase the dry uh, flower leaves and, um, and then make the tea like that and then crumble it up, put it in a cup, put pour hot water on it. They said steep it for like five minutes and then uh, you can either drink it or you know strain it and then drink it. You can have it hot, cold, it has the same benefits. So, it is a great tea to put in your arsenal uh, because it has many benefits. And you know what I was thinking today? It's like they, they spend like millions and millions of dollars researching, you know, trying to find the next big medical uh, breakthrough. And because of like all of the known benefits of all of the things that God created, and why isn't more research being poured into having these more of these studies done and more of these discoveries? And, you know, and it's a rhetorical question because I know it's because there's no money in it, because there's more money in 
drugs. Hello, Ms. Sharita. There's, there's more money in the pharma uh, industry rather than, you know, going natural. But, you know, the more and more people awaken to, you know, there's got to be something different. There's got to be something better. There's got to be something more natural. Um, I think if we have the demand, then maybe the it will turn more toward there or we will all, you know, what do you think? Are we will all just be like these people to the side that's trying to, you know, um, just do the natural thing rather than going, you know, with the meds. Uh, another thing about uh, the tea, it's a it's a diuretic. So if there's a certain medication that if you're on high blood pressure medicine, they advise you not to um, take the hibiscus tea, not to drink it, or rather just you know advise your doctor, get advice from your doctor or your pharmacist as to you know how much you should drink or if you should drink it at all. If you're already on uh, if you're on high blood medication, high blood pressure medication, because it is good for high blood pressure. It helps with um, your arteries and uh, helping them you know widen and be clean and everything like that. So. Um, oh, so Sharita says she never heard of hibiscus tea. Very good. Well, now, now who knew? Now you know about hibiscus tea and how fabulous it is and how, you know, a lot of things as far as like the plants and stuff, it's ironic. Well, it's not ironic that, well, I guess it is ironic that we're just finding out about these things. A lot of things that, you know, um, that in Africa, you know, like with this, you know, it's Egypt and, you know, and of course it migrated to Jamaica and Brazil, but they also have it in India. India is very popular, a very popular drink in India also, the hibiscus tea and drinks with the hibiscus plant. And, you know, they use the, the flower, uh, the dry flower for the tea, but they also use plants and it's also, you know, I guess the whole part of the thing of the uh, plant is good for something. So that is it. That that is it. I don't know what I must be tired because <laughs> I'm having trouble with my speech today. But that is it for say teas please Tuesday. Uh, I hope that uh, you, if you were late, to go back and review and you know and get some of the benefits and just look it up. And you know now that you know that it is a very good nutritional drink that you would take it on and you know it's good for just sipping just you know if you're reading or if you're watching a movie or something and you just want you know especially in like this is this is a tea season for me when it's cool or when it's cold it's so good to have tea and um and just you know you have reap all of these wonderful benefits and have the pleasure of just keeping warm and and all of that so uh, okay so tomorrow tomorrow is Wednesday watering Wednesday and we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about water uh, filtration systems and then we're going to have a word uh, from the from a man of God yes yes um, we're gonna have a word from uh, what's the word he is oh from uh, pastor Kenneth Ulmer of uh, Faithful Central Church in Los Angeles. So he will bring the word for us on tomorrow. And then on Thursday, um, tomorrow I'll tell you about the herb. I haven't decided yet. So tomorrow I'll tell you about the herb for Thursday. I'm thinking, no, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll tell you about the herb for Thursday. And then Friday, um, I will post the conversation. Uh, we, you know what, the ladies, we forgot to talk about chivalry last Friday. So let us not forget. Uh, if I forget, somebody remind me to talk about the topic that Miss D and I talked about a couple of Fridays ago, and that was uh, chivalry. Is chivalry a thing of the past? So we're going to talk about that on Friday um, evening. And then I will post a, a new topic of conversation for this Friday morning so that we can all um, be prepared and give our input. So if you can join us Friday morning at 1030 or Friday evening at 6 or both, we'd be glad to see you as much as possible. And then on uh, Saturday is Spicy Saturday. So I will tell you 
the spice of the week on probably mm -mm, probably Thursday. I'll tell you for Saturday. I'll, I should know by then. Okay, so may God continue to bless and keep you. May he, you have an awesome, terrific Say Tease Please Tuesday. And I will see you tomorrow. Yay! All right. Very good. Very good news, Ms. Sharita. Very good news. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Um, and uh, and may, may God continue to bless and to keep your family. All right. So I will... Yes, I will see you all later. You're very good. You're very welcome. Uh, go out and get the hibiscus tea. Let me see if I'll need. I can do it. Um, I think it would be good with just a tinge of honey, but because I don't usually put sweetener in my tea, but I can do it. It's great. It's great. All right. All right, love you all. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. And I will see you tomorrow.